Great. So, good morning, everyone. Um, it's me again. I have a lightning talk today uh, to get you awake. Um, it's about small and useful, but useful wiki, uh, wiki, wiki extensions. So it, I have a couple of extensions with me uh, that we have developed, that the Bluespace team has developed uh, throughout the last year, and which may be really useful for um, people outside of the Bluespace world as well. Um, so uh, these uh, four extensions are pre to clip, which is basically about uh, copying uh, code into the clipboard, <laughs> uh, um, a standard functionality in many other applications, like wiki applications, um, that we have um, now, yeah, uh, we have taken over the code ownership. It was an existing extension, but long, uh, long unmaintained, and we've taken over the code maintainership and um, have now released fresh versions of that. I want to demonstrate this quickly. Then we do have the section anchors. So this, is, this is also some um, functionality that is uh, yeah, known from other applications. So you probably have seen this in different places like GitHub or um, other applications where you have some, some anchor icon next to a, to a heading. Uh, if you have text, there's a heading. You have a, you have a, a chain symbol, something like that, which you can click to. Um, to get a an, an link or an anchor directly to, an, um, to, um, to the section on the page. Uh, then a little bit uh, larger, the standard dialogs. This is about media wiki standard um, functionality, like what you can do with a page, moving it, deleting it, um, but also a couple of other things, um, like pr uh, co copying a page, which is not necessarily a media wiki um, uh, uh, standard functionality. And last but not least, there is an extension called container filters, or container filter, um, which can be pretty uh, useful if you want to design some portal page on a wiki that allow, should allow, that, that, that displays lots of data, like lots of information, and that you, where, where you would want to allow the user to um, filter the view easily for some um, search term. Now, let's quickly move on about um, yeah, what, is, what, are the, what are those tech extensions about? Most importantly for you probably is um, these are pure MediaWiki extensions. There's no dependency to any framework like BlueSpice. Um, they are skin agnostic. Um, they should be. <laughs> I can guarantee that they are for every skin, obviously, but at least for the vector skin and I think the uh, chameleon skin, they are uh, working very well. Um, there are no, uh, no additional dependencies, so while they can be installed by Composer, they don't, not, do not require to be installed by Composer. You can just download them using the extension distributor and uh, use them right away. Yeah, and that's it. Let's uh, quickly demonstrate what they are doing. So, let's this. Okay, so here's the here are the, the various um, extensions. Each of them has has a um, has a demo page in my wiki. Let's maybe start with um, the most simple one. That would be the pre to clip. Um, as I said, this is an extension that um, has been uh, around in the past, but then was uh, deprecated. And so what is, what is the functionality? Basically, it's just this little icon that shows up at the top right corner of every pre um, element. And it's also compatible to syntax highlighted, syntax highlighted um, content, where you can just click and you get a quick notification that says um, you have copied that to a clipboard. Go ahead and paste it somewhere. And obviously, this also works for the highlighted content, so there are no, um, there's no interference in any way. Um, this way you can quickly grab code examples from wiki pages. Then uh, let's move on to the next one, 
uh, let's check the section anchors. Um, as I said, this is about linking to sections of a page. So if you have a, a page with multiple um, sections in it, um, usually if you would want to get a link to that, uh, to a particular uh, section here, you would uh, go to the table of contents menu, would click it, and you can see in the, in the address bar it gets a, a fragment. And now you can copy that link and you can send it in a, a method, in a chat or in an email or wherever. Now this, is, this can be um, very difficult because especially if you have long pages, you need to go to the table of contents all the time, you need to click it, you need to copy it from the, um, from the you know. And here we get the section anchors, which you can see here, it's um, displaying a little chain icon next to the, um, next to the uh, section that you're hovering, you can click it, and again, gives you a quick notification. Um, and you can also, uh, you now have this in the clipboard ready to be pasted into whatever chat. And as in every good software, there should be some hidden, there, there are some hidden features, like you can uh, hold the, the shift key down and click it. Again, we're copying something. What exactly did we copy this time? Uh, oh wait, sorry, that's uh, <laughs> currently. Uh, let's see. No. Demo effect. Yeah, no, it's the control key, sorry for that. Um, you see you're getting uh, an old ID entry here, which basically is a permanent link. So the same as if you would pick the permalink uh, from the toolbar, the toolbox. And also if you hold two keys down, shift and control, you get another, um, another content here, which is just the name of the page and the fragment. So why would you need that? For example, if you want to link to a particular section within another a wiki page. So we have kind of type bracket bracket, then paste this bracket bracket, and it will create a, a link directly to this section. So especially for long pages, this can be really useful. Then let's go back and go to the next one, which is um, the container filter. So what is container filter about? Container filter um, <coughs> introduces some um, some filter fields, which you can see here. There's a um, a text input field with a, with a looking glass. Let's quickly uh, have a look at the, um, at the source code here. So if I'm switching to the source code mode, you can see what it looks like. So there is a, just a tag extension, container filter. And if we look a little bit um, beneath this, you can see there is a regular wiki text table. This is nothing special. We are even using the the standard class here, wiki table, which you get when if you use the, the, the standard tools. And now let's see how this behaves, what this does. Uh, sorry, to go back here. So and you can see there is a this table, and I can just type something now. Let's say human resources, and what it, what it will do, it will it will um, in place filter that table for um, this term, it will look in the, in the whole row. So regardless of which row this information is in, I don't need to specify that. If, if I would have uh, searched for Mexico, for example, this um, uh, works the same way. Uh, and this is the default behavior. It's uh, the default selector, CSS selector for doing this is the wiki table because it makes most sense. It's uh, the most frequent um, uh, structure that you may want to use it with. But also, but obviously, it also makes sense to have this a little bit, little bit more customizable. And for that I have this second example here. What you see here is uh, number, some, some cards. These are bootstrap CSS cards, which you can have when you're using, uh, for example, the chameleon skin. You're having those nice cards. They will align nicely. It looks, give, can, you, can, make your, uh, can give you a little, uh, so some, some tile view optic, or yeah, some nice, um, some nice uh, visuals on your page here. And even here, you can search. 
And again, it's really searching in the whole container. It doesn't make a difference between the heading of this, uh, of this box or um, the, the body or the footer or whatever. So for example, if I'm looking for updated, you can see it will remove all the, um, all the cards that have not the word updated in it. Or the other way around, if I, let's say, um, if I'm using um, something like famous, again, it will filter those um, things out. How does this work? Well, not very difficult. What I did here is, you can see down here there's the, the dialog, or the, um, the, the tag, and see I uh, just specified a selector um, attribute, which I'm using a CSS class, which is dot card in this case, just the standard for um, bootstrap CSS, nothing special. Yeah, that's container filter. You can use it in basically basically anything with, with that that has some CSS classes. You just need to craft your um, your markup in a proper way. And last but not least, <coughs> we do have the standard dialogs. So what is this? Um, what, what is this about? So you all know about the, um, <coughs> the standard actions, the content actions that we have, like move, delete, protect. Um, refresh, and in MediaWiki we um, often see some uh, behavior that we load a new page, like um, action equals dele uh, d um, delete or special move page, something like that. So it, it, um, it, uh, clicking such a link navigates us to another page, which can be a little bit um, odd um, in modern user interfaces. So having the, the, dial the dialogues implement all those actions by um, yeah, by dialogues, we can see, and, and, and they wire the, the regular interface, so you don't need to change anything on your skin. If the skin has the link with the proper ID, which is usually the case, you can just here click move, and you see instead of being um, sent to special move page, some dialog opens up, which gives me some, um, some interface, and you can see I've got the, the regular input fields as you would expect them from special moves can send it and then have, have moved that. Um, so we have implemented the, the main functionality like move, protect, um, uh, delete, pr um, and, ref and refresh. Um, apparently refresh doesn't work because um, Chameleon overrides that already for some reason. So th this won't show, it will show the dialog, but it will basically load the, reload the page directly. But what I, um, uh, yeah. But what's, what, um, there's another uh, functionality that might be useful, actually, that is copy, a functionality that you usually don't have on, on uh, MediaWiki. You can directly copy a page as well. So you can see I'm just clicking copy. It will ask me for the name. It will also use a, 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 a default name for that, like ABC2 in this case. You can see you can copy subpages and stuff. And then you get an extra copy, which is really they're, be aware of that this is not a real copy with all the version history, but it actually take, just takes the content of the page and saves it to another page, giving the name. So it has, it has independent revision histories. But um, yeah, so yeah, these are the dialogues. Again, they are um, available for various uh, functionality, and they make it more convenient for the user to um, to use that. Just copy. Take all the slots. Um, that's a good question. I don't think so, actually. I'm think, I think I'm no. just uh, uh, it's just uh, getting the wiki text and, no. and perhaps you can fix that. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, we can have that as a um, feature request. It shouldn't be too hard to implement, actually. No. Yeah. So that's it. These were the um, extensions that I wanted to show you. Um, again, they have been uh, designed to be BlueSpice independent, to be reusable on other projects as well. So please feel free to try them out. There are no dependencies, just install them. And uh, yeah, if you have feature requests or any questions. Um, this may be a worth mentioning, actually. <laughs> um, so while we try to, uh, to keep an eye on the talk pages on MediaWiki.org, um, it's likely that we may miss questions on those pages. So as we are mainly maintaining Blue Spice, um, there's a new page. 
uh, that there's a new site that's called community.bluespice.com, which is our, our new support forum. If you have any questions regarding those, uh, regarding any extension cr created by the Hello World, please feel free to also ask there. We are probably more um, available on this <coughs> forum as on other uh, locations. Uh, we still try to monitor the other ones, but um, you're invited to join in here. Um, you can log in with GitHub, so it's <coughs> rather easy to, to participate if you want to. Is this a wiki? No, it's a discourse okay. for forum software. <laughs> Okay. Good question. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Robert. Do we do we have questions? Joris. Hi, Joris the RTXL. Uh, I was wondering if you copy a page would be really useful for some of my use cases. Uh, would the edit log also show uh, which page it's copied from, or is there some way to see uh, the link between the original page and the copied page? That's a good question. I don't think so. I think there is a, there is a comment section. Let me check. So let's do another copy here. No, that, so I cannot give that um, as um, I, I cannot give any reason here. You can see the, the, the dialogue itself does not feature such a, such a thing. But let's have a look at the uh, at the history. What does it say? Oh, no, <laughs> it actually no, it doesn't give you any reference here. But that again, that I think that's easy to implement and could be a valid feature request. So. Also, put uh, when you have, make the feature request, you put also the, the slots uh, <laughs> question in, together with it. I'll leave that up to you. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Some more question. So I believe you also had the develop the extension filterable tables, but that has a dependency on the Blue Spice Foundation. Yeah, there is Blue Spice filter tables which um, works differently. It actually converts a table into a grid uh, using a JavaScript framework, and that grid uh, then uh, exposes filters. Uh, and it does a little bit more. So for example, it, it analyzes the tables, the columns, and for, let's say, you have a, you have a column with um, dates, it will give you a date picker, for example, and stuff like that. Um, this is not the approach of, um, of container filters. Container filters is much more simple, straightforward. Yeah. It will just search for the exact term. That's all. Okay. So but blue, blue spice filter table is, is blue spice dependent, yes. And they will remain separate. Uh, yes. But there are no plans to invite that. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have an online question, Bernard? Just no, no question, but Yara says they are all very nice. Thank Thumbs you. Thumbs up. Really neat. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. So thank you. Thanks. Robert.